What can I say? The Indominus Rex remains my most inspired creation. Nature can create a dinosaur, but only I can bring an Indominus Rex to life. To do so required a tremendous amount of research, gene mixing, splicing and manipulation, and, of course, determination. The end result is a hybrid dinosaur that is both beautiful and deadly. An alpha... Now this dinosaur is something special. Well, they're all something special. But this one stands out because of the horns on top of its head. It's called Ceratosaurus. It kind of looks like a slightly smaller T-Rex, but its bite is probably about the same. Nice, Carnotaurus. You could recognize this predator immediately by the horns on its head, which give it a real rock and roll appearance. Those. George Lambert deals with security. And considering all that entails, he often has his hands full with claws and teeth and, uh, tails. Jungasaurus, that can really be a handful. It's short, stocky, and lives for the aged in cannibalistic behavior. Nothing like having your friends over for dinner. I'm Dr. Kajal Dua, and while you're keeping an eye on the dinosaurs, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Anytime you hear the word mega, you know you're dealing with something significant, and the Megalosaurus is no different. This meat-eating theropod dominates any environment it finds itself in. While that's an admirable survival trait, it's also one that we cannot accept here This is a Cryolophosaurus, one of the more colorful members of the collection. It's a carnivore, so take the necessary precautions and don't let its looks deceive you. Clear the carcass from the enclosure before it can spread disease. The Changesaurus. Neat! Really great that we're bringing back all these fast, hungry predators. Even better that I get to stay in the office with locks on the doors. 